right guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana. Beautiful day here and today I want to actually kick off a three-part series on controversial animals. Now the word controversy, it means disagreement and of course you guys know everybody always has a disagreement about something. Sometimes it happens but in the animal world there are a lot of animals that a lot of people have disagreements about. So over the next couple weeks we're going to talk about three of the most controversial animals right here in Montana. First of all, these little cuties the beavers that are hiding behind me, Huckleberry and Finn. Then we're going to talk about wolves and then end it with snakes. So first of all, let's talk about the beaver. Why in the world is a beaver considered controversial? Two reasons. If you're a rancher or you own a farm, beavers can do two really bad things to you. First of all, they can cut down all your trees. And second of all, they can flood your land. Imagine if you're trying to grow crops or have cattle grazing and a beaver comes in and floods it, it makes that land useless for what you need it for. So that's a problem. But why are beavers good? Well, beavers create new habitat for a lot of different animals. When they build the dam on a river, it creates a flood, and that flood then creates a wetland. Lots of fish, amphibians, reptiles, and birds all use that same wetland, which is so important to all those other species. Well, what else can beavers do? Well, get this. We're also finding that by having that wetland, it helps to filter or clean water. So these guys help to take a lot of pollutants out of the water just by building that beautiful dam which makes that wetland. Now what about the ranches? Well get this, ranchers are now finding this out, that beavers can actually be beneficial for the farm. Why is that? Well first of all, is we're finding that when you're grazing cattle on one side of your ranch, you need a good place or source of water. And a lot of these places, when cattle, of course, graze on land, they can graze that, overgraze that land and cause basically the ground to be like this, just a bunch of dry dirt. Well, if you've got a beaver on the other side of your property, they're creating a wetland, which then creates a place for your cattle, of course, to drink. Now, last but not least, on top of that, when the beavers move out, and they will eventually move out, that wetland will eventually dry up, create a very fertile soil which then trees will grow out and they will then create woodlands. Well the cool thing is is that if a farmer waits long enough they can bounce cattle or crops back and forth to where the beavers were. That lets the overgrazed area or over uh, uh, cropped area recover while they're using the land that the beavers created. Makes sense? It's confusing but the point is is that if you look at it close enough you can usually find that the animal are so much more beneficial than we ever thought. That's a cool thing to keep in mind. Who knows? But regardless, they're pretty cute. Come to the zoo, check out Huckleberry and Finn, and guess what? Baby Shiloh is even out occasionally as well, and it's warm enough that the beavers are now outside. Good stuff. Guys, until next time, I am Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana. Can't wait to see you here at the zoo.